my friends and welcome back to Fallout 2. In our last video, we made our way to the Enclave oil rig and I'm currently passing as an Enclave soldier. So let's continue to poke around and see if I can get in the appropriate amount of trouble. <laughs> Not so much that I I get myself killed, but enough to save my friends and family. That's, that's the goal anyway. No, we don't need any of the grenades. Let's see what ammo is in each of these crates though a bazooka rocket launcher probably yeah rocket launcher bazooka more rocket launchers hello ma'am my shift isn't for a few hours yet okay why are you here then go be leisurely elsewhere no i do not have that gun on me anymore I don't need any rockets. I don't think I need any plastic explosives, but in theory, oh, it's a mini Avenger minigun. And then laser, I don't, I've got 800. I don't think I need any more ammo. Plasma rifle. Okay, that's everything here. Let's go into these doors. I went all in here. Let's go over into this area. Hello, sir. My next shift isn't for a few hours. I know you guys keep saying that. A flower. Money. I don't know if I need it anymore at this point in the game, but let's take it anyway. Nothing in that desk. What else is over here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's stairs down. Corridor clear. Okay. More grenades. And don't need any of that. Hmm. I will come back to the, no, the bathroom. The stairs are over here. Hmm, all right. Oh, there we go. What are in what are in the boxes? Knives? Clubs? Really? Seems kind of low tech for you guys, right? Huh. So how do I get there's a door there that comes down here. There's a door over here. Oh, I haven't gone into this area yet. Okay, so. Let's go back up and around. And. This, if I come in through here, then I'll get down to the stairs I need to go to. So let's come back to that area and go over this way. Nothing's locked down at all. Probably just the food, since we're by the kitchen. Yep, food and beer. Hmm. Researcher. Yes. Can't you see I'm working here? No, it actually looks like you are in your leisure time. Might as well rest a bit. It's a shame about Vice President Bird. What happened to Vice President Bird? Projects are salvation. Huh. Okay, so we need to come back up over here to this door. And let's 
save here. No loitering. Move along. Psycho, I don't think I need that. Guns and bullets, don't need that for sure. You see no way in no way in which to open the door. Hmm. Then I am guessing I have to get to the lower level. Back out this way. This guy just standing around with his big old sledgehammer. This lady talking to the guns. Okay, my friends are out here. Hello, friends. Mind, mind the machine guns. <laughs> now, hopefully, the same thing will work on the lower level and I won't get shot. Okay, I'm not getting shot at. That's, that's a step up. All right, who's smacking gum on the headsets? Okay, we did that one yesterday. More knives. Guns and bullets. How do we get in there? Okay. Ammo crate and that's not ammo. That is a gun, a, ve a very large gun. Oh yes, more T two millimeter EC. Um, no, I don't need that. I don't know if I ever even got a gun to use that. That ammo. Nope. And nope. Okay. <gasps> oh. No more medicine I can't take anymore. I insist upon being freed. I insist if, oh, here they are. Where are the spirits when you need them? Oh, here are my friends. Here they are. Researcher. Oh, and there's another stairs down maybe there. Okay, hang on, let's go in here. Might as well rest a bit. Who are, what are you? What are you? Welcome to Poseidon Net. Enter menu selection. Log on. Okay, so it's the same. Presidential override. Yeah, it's the same stuff as what was upstairs. Hmm. Okay, let's go up here before we go down. Because that's where I, I clearly need to go. Because that's where my friends are. What is that? Nothing out of the ordinary with that pipe. Huh. It's a big old empty room. I keep saying it, I think, but I'm very anxious. <laughs> I just keep waiting to get caught. Uh, let's go this way first. I'll put you on port. You do that. Keep, keep on keeping on. Don't you have anything better to do? No, I don't. Covered by some kind of biomass. I will 
I'll take all of that. I want someone to explain what happened and why all this blood is here. A fire extinguisher. Can't you see I'm working? No, I can't. More stim packs. I think we're good on the poison cures. I'm sure glad I'm not on the mainland. I hope there's somebody to talk to at some point today. <laughs> I will take the chems. I have needed zero radiation chems at all in this game. Oh, he just came out of that door. Go pester someone else. This door right here. I'll take all of those. I get a private bathroom? It's a huge private bathroom. It can't just be for him, can it? Probably not. Oh gosh. The vault dwellers as well. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's not panic. Sector seven clear, level two clear. Okay, I want to come talk to my friends, but let's... Where did these stairs go? Did they go up or down? Okay, down even farther. All right, before we do that, let's go talk to... The Electrified Floor Discharges. Okay. Hello there, I'm Mar Martin Frobisher. I speak for these people, thank God you're here. Nice outfits just like mine, who are you people? What are you people doing here? Are you the overseer? How did you people get here? Nice to meet you, Martin, but I've got people to free, goodbye. Um, nice outfits just like mine, what are you, who are you people? They took us all from our vault because they wanted test subjects for the antidote. They needed people from outside the Enclave and who were still pure strain humans, so they took us. Are these the people from like the very, very beginning of the game? Like the opening cutscene? They took you how and from where? They came to the front door of the vault. Somehow they already knew the security code. They just opened the door and their armored troopers marched us into vertebrates and flew us here. Then the experiments began, he shudders. That sounds bad. Let me ask you something else. The vault? Which vault are you from? My vault 13, of course. I was looking for that. Hey, are you the overseer? <laughs> we don't use that term anymore. There used to be an overseer many years ago, but he did a bad thing. <laughs> By shooting Bob in the back, maybe? And many of our people left the vault only to die in the waste. I'm sure. He was, he was tried and sentenced to death for his crime? We haven't used that title since him. I don't blame you. I understand that an overseer kicked my ancestor, the Vault Dweller, out into the waste. The Vault Dweller? How long ago was that? Say about 80 years, perhaps? Yeah, it was 80 years ago. How do you know that? 80 years ago, a hero saved our vault and then the overseer exiled him. Others followed him into exile and they were never heard from again. We remember the event with shame. Hey, you're talking about my ancestor and the people who founded my village. They all came from vault, the from the vault of Holy 13. As well, you should let me ask you about something else. I don't think you've suffered enough for that yet. No, I think it's, hey, you're talking about my ancestor. I think this is the, the good one here. Incredible, that's our vault. Once again, the people of the vault must rely upon, um, this time, the great granddaughter of the vault dweller to save us. I wish I knew how to save you. Yeah, I wish I did know how to save you. To turn off these force fields, I think you're going to have to turn off the main power supply. How the heck am I going to do that? I've been listening and I think that the power reactor is controlled by a large computer three levels below us. Oh, okay. If you manage to blow that up, it should turn off the power and we can go free. 
Great idea, but I don't know how I can blow up the reactor and I don't have any explosives. I'm sure that wherever the guards have their barracks, that they must have an arsenal. They'll have explosives there, I'm certain of it. Good idea, I can get the explosives and use them to blow up the computer. Then you can run topside to my ship. I'll be right behind you. Weren't there doors? Like there were, in the cutscene when we came in here in the last video, there were doors I feel like that opened and let the oil tanker in. Wouldn't they have closed behind it? Or maybe I'm misremembering. Mis Thank you. Godspeed and good luck to you, my friend. Thanks, but let me ask you something else first. Um, how did you people get here? Um, okay, I feel like I've run the gambit. I went there looking for a gek. A gek? We must have a couple of them. You're welcome to one, I think. I saw some troopers loading one of our geks into a vertebrate. You saw them load a gek? Do you know where they put it? I don't know exactly where they put it, but I did hear them say that they were going to leave it in the barrier level, just below this level, I think. Um, I think that's everything. Wait, you've got to get us out of this place. I plan to. I'm going downstairs to the power plant to shut the power off and free you. When the fields are down, run topside. I've got a ship there. Okay. You should have thought of that before you kicked out my ancestor. Good. Goodbye and good luck. I've got a feeling better need it. Yeah. I feel like we're really going to need it. The elder of my village. Nice. Save and talk to her. Does she voice act it? How did you get here? I've come to rescue you. What the hell is going on here? Men came to our village in flying machines and took us. There were others too, from the Holy Thirteen. I thought we were saved. I thought we were going to heaven. <sighs> and then? Look how much money I have, by the way. Oh my gosh, that's so much money. And then? Then they brought us here to hell. They have killed most of us with something they call FEV. They will kill us all before they are through. Do you know what must be done, Chosen One? Kill them all and free all of you, basically, is what you're telling me. So FEV, so they captured all these people to do their experiments on. Great. That is what they call it. They stick needles into our skin like stim packs. But then terrible things happen. Then... This is going to make me sick, isn't it? Then what happens? Then the skin bubbles like maggots beneath it. Boils grow and burst. Blood runs from your ears and your tongue swells. Those who are lucky choke to death. Those who are not. That certainly was disgusting. What am I supposed to do? They'll pay. <laughs> you must destroy the machine and kill the devils in this place. We will meet you outside. And Chosen One, if you have not found the Gek, seek it here. Our freedom is nothing if we cannot save our village. Now go. Okay. I mean, I have a Gek. My friend's holding it for me. So we do have one. Goodbye. Okay, so I need to find some more explosives. I forget where it was at, but I'll find it. Get us out before the evil spirits come back. Mm, I, can I go any farther over here? There's no way to open that door. Okay. All right, so let's go back this way before we go downstairs and see if I can find some explosives. There was up in here. Um, this way. Oh, I need to go in here too. Question these scientists. No, there we go. That's not, I know one of them had No, okay, let me look for plastic explosives or explosives of some kind, and I will be right back.
All right. I have managed to finally find <laughs> some plastic explosives. And I also took a minute to grab the Gek off one of my companions because people keep mentioning it to me that I still need to find it. And I, I don't want it to get to a point to where I need it and I don't have it on me. So I, so I made sure to grab that. Now, I do want to go back down these stairs. But before we do so, I don't remember ever exploring the creepy laboratory over here with the creepy scientists researchers they're researchers go away i'm busy well fine a suspension tank it's some sort of medical or experimental apparatus it looks as if it could contain a human or a larger size body lovely they do all their fev experimentations of course fire exit okay Can I, can I mess with the computers at all? Because that'd be great. <laughs> I could try, right? Welcome to the Poseidon Net. Log on. Smith J. Security status. Okay, I feel like that's the same as it's been for the last few tries. Let's talk to this scientist here. Researcher. Don't you have anything better to do? No. No, I do not. I absolutely have nothing else better to be doing at all right now. I don't recall asking for any test subjects. <laughs> Bugger off. A metal table is covered by some kind of biomass. I see nothing out of the ordinary, even though it's blood. And blood with bones. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess we'll go downstairs now. All right. So it looks like I need to get over here, maybe? I'm kind of unclear. Electrified fied floor discharges. Oh, hang on, let's save here. Okay, I can't just open the... Oh! Can I... Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Okay, so I can't just click on the doors without murdering myself. Let's try not to do that. Ouch! Oh, it's a puzzle. Ouch. Okay. How do I turn off the electrified floor stuff? Is this one open? No. It is. Is there anything in it? Oh, hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> there, There is lots of things in it. All right, uh, what's going on? Bravo team reporting in. Get back to work. Return returning to the duty station. Can I just, do you think they'll mind if I go into their foot lockers? Ooh, super stim packs. Yeah, we'll take that. Jody's home now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, that song. More power armor. Advanced power armor MK2. Is that what I'm currently wearing? Is it any better? Like, oh, no, 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 let's, in theory, let's try to pick it up. Okay, so I have armor class 40, 15, 19, 16, 15. Ooh, armor class 45. Well, there you go, sir. Um. Can I put the other one out in back in the locker? Because I don't really need to carry two of them on me, I don't think. Let's we'll just put it back there. And, and hope that that's okay. <laughs> I don't think I need any more ammo. I think I'm. Yeah, I've got lots of that ammo. Keep on keeping on. Do you have clearance for this section? Probably not. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> 
Okay, and then there is an ammo crate here. A Gauss rifle. Is that... I feel like I had that. And I left it in my car. No, we'll definitely take the 2mm AC. I like that one. Okay, so there's something over here we need to get into. There's something over here we need to get into. Um, I'm not really sure how to do all this, but we'll we'll just we'll just save and trial and error and hope I don't die. How about that? <laughs> uh, what does this do? Welcome to Poseidon Net. Log on. Smith J. Security status. Uh, presidential pass key. Hmm. Emergency defense system shut down. I don't know if I should do that. I wanted to tr stop electrocuting me, but I feel like that's not going to happen. Okay, I can't go in there. It seems so. We'll click on this. Okay, oh, I guess we'll go over here then, and we'll click on that one. Stop electrocuting me. Oh, more, more things. Survival gear locker. <laughs> They're just singing, returning to duty station. They're just singing along in their power armor suits. Level two, all clear. Let's see. Plasma rifle, probably don't need that. Another plasma rifle. More ammo probably don't need. So I don't even have that gun on me. I still have such anxiety. <laughs> Walking around here in my... Oh, can you... Can, oh, can I not get in here? Oh, good, I can. It didn't, it didn't electrocute me. Oh my. First aid kit, survival books. I don't know if I need them at this point, but why not take them? A Vault 13 water? Stim pack, do I need any more stim packs? Let's be honest. I have 105. I feel like I should be fine on stim packs for a while. Actually, I probably should take some because I seem to be low health from being electrocuted. Yeah, let's go back and get those stim packs. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Um, there they are. All done. Done. Another geck. Probably don't need two. Paramedics bag. Can I, I what are these? Let's look. First medic first aid kit, a small kit containing basic emergency medical equipment, bandages, wraps, antiseptic spray, and more. It weighs two pounds. And we have the paramedics bag. This bag contains instruments and chems used by paramedics in the field. The tools contained are specifically designed for high trauma and emergency cases. It weighs six pounds. How much does my geck weigh? 10 pounds. I wonder what happens when I have two gecks on me. Can I have like one for now, one for later? <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got enough, I've got enough space. I can read my books too, because they're weighing a lot of. Oh, I learned nothing new. Okay. About my scout book. I learned a lot about wilderness survival. And some more about wilderness survival. And okay. What is my survival skill up to? Outdoorsman. 81. Wow. And that's just from books. Nice. Okay, let's drop off the books. Don't need those. Okay, inventory's better. Okay, so now I just need to make my way down over here, it looks like. I'm assuming there's more stairs if I can manage to get there, but let's save again. And... Yeah, I know. I know. Um. Hmm. 
I'm just standing here and being electrocuted. That's not great. I need to get this door open. this one here. Nope. Now I'm stuck in this room. Okay. Herm, this is gonna take some trial and error, it seems. So I'm gonna probably pause here today and in tomorrow's video, I will hopefully have, let me pause so I don't keep electrocuting myself. Hopefully I will have figured out how to get down over into this area, which I'm assuming is stairs or an elevator to a different level and then we can see what happens next. That's that's cross cross fingers. That's my plan. <laughs> but anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 2 video.